Alrighty guys, so welcome back to the Combustion Guys YouTube channel and Hunting Cars Online, or Hunting Gentlemen's Trucks Online as it were. Taking a look at the Ford F-350, so taking a look at these, we've got a few different trims to look at, and we also get cab options to go through as well, so we can go with crew cab, super cab, and also uh, different box and whatnot as well. So, let's go ahead and start off with the XO and see what this thing has to offer. <music> So currently, we got the single cab selected, it looks like, so not a bad looking truck. We've got uh, iconic silver, carbonized gray, oxford white, got the race red, darkened bronze, that's an interesting color. We got the black metallic, and we also got the antimatter blue. Honestly, I'm kind of a fan of the red in this one. So we'll go with that for right now. We got four different engine options. You got the 6.7 four valve uh, overhead valve power stroke V8 turbo diesel uh, B20. So let's see if there's a difference on these that they're listing. I'm not saying I'm going to guess that's probably the pairing that they have with the transmission is why there's a difference. Uh, high output, oh there we go, high output power stroke. That's the difference right there. I didn't even see that part. So there we go, so that's uh, a 9995 $10,000 option. Uh, you got a 12500 option. You got the flex fuel torque shift 6.8 liter V2 or 2V uh, V8 gas uh, engine right there. And you also got the 7.3 liter gas torque engine. So we'll add that, see if that changes the price or anything. Uh, we're going to do this TX appearance package. That's a $1,700 option. Interesting. Uh, we got 4x4 currently selected. We'll go ahead and leave that at the moment. And then, if you want to add these, it's going to be pretty expensive, it looks like. Uh, we got the torque shift 10 speed automatic transmission. You can also get the torque shift G uh, 10 speed automatic transmission. Uh, comes with selectable drive modes nice so what does this come with then also comes with uh, selectable drive mode so probably just uh, depending on what the pairing is with the engine is your difference there more than likely you also got all of your different selectable rear axle ratios depending on if you're towing pulling or just uh, wanting a good economy as you haul stuff around the country you also got the snow plow prep package that is available camper package snow plow camper package the XL off-road package also available uh, the CNG propane uh, gas engine prep package uh, the FX4 off-road package available XL chrome package STX which is what we currently have selected here looks pretty decent honestly uh, you got the F-350 gas heavy duty payload package heavy service front suspension package uh, fifth wheel gooseneck package I'm sure I hit that button go ahead and get that selected there there we go and then we got wheel options we actually do have wheel options this is interesting so let's see if we can switch so we got the painted steel this is going to switch up our options which is fine but we actually have color options on our wheels was interesting so we got 17s with the steels we've got 18s with the steels and then I think we've got 17s or 18s here with the blacks yeah we got 18 inch here with the ebony black painted aluminum wheels uh, we got uh, four different tire options on the 4x4 option there uh, we got plat platform running boards get those added see if those oh yeah it looks pretty good seaside profile right there nice uh, splash guards we can add those to the rear which that might be nice looks pretty good uh, we also got pivot bed storage case more pivots right there uh, pick up a box bedside storage we got the aluminum crossbar or cross bed toolbox so obviously these options you can add on from the dealer so basically what uh, we saw with the Chevy is what we got going on right here uh, bid hooks uh, wheel well liner front rear front and rear uh, grill black painted uh, retractable bed side step interesting 
We got the Gooseneck Gooseneck Hitch Kit, uh, Fifth Wheel Hitch Kit, 20,000 rated hitch, nice. Uh, 12,000 pound forward performance parts wrenched by Warren, interesting. Uh, bumpers front and rear, you can get those black painted. Uh, chrome front and rear step bumper, stem bumpers, nice. Uh, spare wheel and tire delete, you can get rid of those. Engine block heater. Etc. 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 There's a ton of options through here, and also you got your uh, alternator options. You can do a 410, 250, 190, uh, 360 degree dual beacon LED warning strobes. Amber. That's neat. In order to get those at it, see if that pops up on the top of the truck here. Da -da 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 -da. Um, I don't see it, but it says that it's been added. Interesting. So that's another option you could add on. Uh, LED fog lights, LED roof marker clearance lamps. Let's see if we see what that looks like. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Always do like those. Let's see if it pops up here or not. There we go. I've always liked those on the trucks. I don't know why. Just I've always liked how those look. Uh, let's see, cutter in the interior, don't get too many options on that, you can get the uh, split bench, which of course we're going to go with for right now, and then a load of inboard interior options here, ready to go for you, pro power on board, 12 volt, 400 watt outlet, dual battery on board, scales and smart hitch, uh, interior work surface, pro power, uh, upfitter switches, etc. And so, just on the basis, I think it's actually going to give us a price on this one. So, base price currently with what we have selected, which kind of switched around throughout, it's $49,000. Not terrible. Let's go back to the model here. So, that's the XL. So, what I'm interested in here is let's see. There we go. We got the dual, dual rear wheels selected now so we'll see how these trucks look uh, from now on go ahead and get I hadn't selected any of this so this will help a uh, crew cab make sure we have that selected let's see is the super cab bigger let's see nope crew cab is what we're looking for alright so that was the XL let's take a look at what the uh, XLT looks like same color palette basically so nothing really changed there Already, I like how the truck looks much better with the uh, added wheels in the back. Beautiful duels. Looks good. We got our engine options. Already got our das uh, gas engine selected, so we'll leave that for right now. See if there's any exterior options. We do have different wheels. So we got the forged. Switch over to here. The forged polished aluminum, or we have the regular painted wheels go with the forged aluminum there looks good alrighty trailer package uh, platform running boards we can get those in anodized so let's see so one I'm pretty sure is going to be in the black yep so that's a black running board platform and then this right here is going to be ooh, all the way across it looks like take a look at what it looks like from the front here Ooh, got a little Super Duty mock right there. That's pretty neat. So then all of this, same exact options that you can get installed from the dealer. To just keep on going here. Fifth wheel package. Interesting. We didn't get... Did we look at packages? Not a whole lot. Let's see here. We got the FX4 off-road package. We can get that added on for $4.95. And what that's... Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's that? What is that going to do? That's going to get you the all-terrain tires, uh, electronic locking differential, and limited slip rear axle. Sweet. Like that. Alrighty, so, added that on. Let's see, I didn't see if there was a fifth wheel. There we go. Get the fifth wheel package added on there. That's a 550 uh, Ford Pro Uplift Integration System. You can also get that for 400 heavy service front suspension package for 125. What does that do? Uh, let's see, not available. Da, da, da. Includes heavy service front springs. One upgrade above the spring computer selected as a consequence of, of options chosen. 
I'm not sure what that means, but I think that means that it's not available at the moment. But uh, that is get you some heavier springs in the front if you so desire. So all these added options that we can add on later on, add like the dealer and up, that's going to get you some pretty pennies to uh, add on there. So just keep on scrolling on down here. And we got to the interior, so we currently have the medium dark slate, and then our other option is the Baja, which, Baja, that looks really, really good. Alright, so we got currently the uh, split bench cloth seats, definitely like those at the moment, as we're kind of going on the cheap side of trucks. Uh, price estimated is about 62110 for this thing. So taking a look at the truck all together, if we can get out of the interior, please. So there's the outside of the truck. Looks really, really good. Uh, let me see here. I want to see if side profile, if we can, right here. So here's the hood line right here. Taking that straight across. I think it's a little bit lower than that, but still, that's a pretty, that's very tall for the nose of the truck. I'm not understanding that too much, but anyways, good looking truck, all things considered. Interior wise, uh, that looks really, 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 really good. So nice. So that's, uh, what did I say? It was $62,000 $62, plus also if you're needing more of the uh, installed options from the dealer that's going to get you a bit of a higher price there as well so okay let's take a look here at the lariat we also got king ranch platinum and limited um honestly at a hundred thousand dollars a pop i think we'll be fine sticking just with the king ranch i don't think we need to go much above that we'll take a look at the platinum but i don't think we need to look at the uh, limited honestly that that's a bit ridiculous in the price range in my opinion Alright, so taking a look through here real quick, looks like we added a few colors. We got the Glacier Grey Metallics, that's a bit different. We also got, uh, is this Oxford White? Yep, Iconic Silver, Carbonized. So I think we added like one color here. And I think that's, uh, let's see. Star, I think that's the Star White Metallic Tricoat. That's a different color. And then we also got this one right here, which is the uh, Glacier Gray Metallic. Uh, we've got the same engine options. Let's scroll through here quickly, as I think that's going to be about the same. What I'm looking for is kind of, uh, we would get the chrome package here. What I'm looking for is basically any packages, uh, any changes to the tr outside of the truck. And there you go, some nice chrome. I think we need to switch up a color on our truck for that. We'll go with the dark blue, just to really make that pop. Ooh, yep, 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 like that. So basically, everything price-wise is going to stay the same. What I'm going to try to do is uh, replicate, go and get that fifth wheel goosenecks on there, go and get our FX4 off-road package on there, just so that, uh, da -da -da, just so that we're keeping the price about the same with the options that I'm selecting, so you can kind of see what the uh, what the price is going to be is basically what I'm trying to do here now. So scroll through this retractable wheel, da, 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 da. see if there's all the alternators. Now we get to the interior, so that was pretty quick. I think this is leather trimmed interior. So currently we got that uh, hop into the truck here. There we go. So this is the, now the leather, not the cloth option, and that looks pretty decent in there. So this is the black onyx. And then this right here is the Baja once again. And honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with that Baja. That's that's pretty good looking. Uh, we could upgrade to just the bucket seats. But honestly, as I said, I'm really digging the... Uh, actually, no, it does have the console on there. Let's see if we can switch that. Get back to the bench. There we go. I don't think you can go wrong with the bench, honestly. Just because of how that really does help what you can do with the truck so there you go chrome on the outside seventy one thousand seventy two thousand dollars plus tax and everything else uh, that is a good looking truck interior and exterior I like that very very much that's a good looking truck so let me go back up here to the top real quick and let's take that chrome package off for just a second Take the chrome off here. 
and then we're going to switch the color because I just want to see how this looks. So without the chrome and going to the glacier, how does this truck look now? Come on. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. I definitely think with the glacier though, you can't really go with the Baja. That seems a little conflicting, honestly. So I think we got to go back to the black interior on the inside. But uh, yeah, I like that. I like how the truck looks there. That looks pretty good. So that, as I said, that's going to get you about seventy-two thousand. Uh, either way, you spec it. So seventy-two thousand dollars spec with just the bare minimum stuff that I would want, not necessarily having everything that you would, could get installed at the dealer. So that's about $72,000, which is quite a bit. Uh, going to the King Ranch, we don't have many colors, but it does appear that we had the two-tone going on. So let me check and see. Yeah, we got two-tone. I like my two-tone. Two-tone trucks are nice. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, we got the dark and bronze there, which is the whole entire truck. We've got red here. Doesn't look terrible. We got the blue. Looks pretty good. We got uh, the glacier. That's the which is antimatter star white metallic. I don't know. The star white with the bronze two coat. I mean, that looks pretty decent. So we'll start off with that. Get our options put on here. Get our FX4 package here. You. Let's see. I'm not sure what the chrome package will do if it'll add on. Okay, so that takes away our two two tones. So if we take away that, two tones back. So okay, we definitely want to keep our two tone now that we have it because I definitely want to keep that. Let's see here. See if there's any other different options. We can get a moonroof option if you so desire. So that's going to be a uh, fifteen hundred dollar upgrade there we get one and only one interior color and that is the Java King Ranch and that's some good looking interior I must say nice and going on down here not a whole lot of added options but that's gonna put you at 82,000 so basically round that up to 83,000 for sure and that's what you're looking at for this truck but I mean it looks pretty good. I mean, I, honestly, I don't think you can beat a two-tone truck and then also match it with a two-tone interior as well. That's that's pretty good looking. I like that. So, that is very nice. $82,000 with just the base equipment uh, that I would already want to have installed on it, which uh, is not a whole lot, but still, it is, is there. So, obviously, plenty more ways to spend a lot more money on this thing for sure, but just doing the base bare minimum... <laughs> the bare minimum. <laughs> uh, it, that's what you're going to get. So going to the platinum here. See if we can get that glacier gray back on. There we go. Looks good. We'll switch through. Uh, go ahead and get the FX4 back on. We got our... Um, thank you. Fifth wheel. Get that on there. We can get the heavy service front suspension package. I think that gets negated by the FX4 if I uh, am remembering correctly. And scroll on down here. So everything, all the options are about the same through there. We got uh, the color options here. So take out the console and switch that back to what I'm wanting here, which of course is the. Uh... Apparently, that is not an option. There it is. So you can get either the unique platinum multi-color driving uh, passenger leather seats or you can just go with uh, the other option which is uh, I guess the not so unique. Oh, so this one here, yep. I'm confused as how this is working but basically uh, you just switch the colors down here so there we go. So unique platinum multi-color driving yeah, I don't understand what's changing here, so they're not giving you the change color, but obviously two-tone, love it. Two-tone in the interior, got to have that. So just that change right there, that's going to put you up at $85,000, so I mean, not too much of a jump over the King Ranch, honestly. Uh, let's see if we switch that off, does that change the price any? Uh, not really, so price changes no matter what interior you have there so I mean 
not too much of a change going on. So, anyways, that is a pretty looking truck. It looks pretty good. I like it. And might as well go ahead and bust the bank and let's take a look at uh, the Limited here. Alright, so here we go with the Limited. The blue is not an option. That's rather surprising. Go ahead and go with that Glacier Gray, which I'm kind of digging at the moment. Uh, 6.7 liter high output power stroke. That's already installed. Go all the way down here to packages. Looks like uh, basically, yep. Yeah. So we get our FX4 here. Got our fifth wheel goosenecks already installed. Thank you. Scrolling on down to the interior, and we've got the Admiral Blue Light Slate interior option. That looks pretty nice in there. I gotta gotta admit, it looks pretty good. And uh, with the glacier gray on the outside, that's a decent looking truck. One hundred four thousand dollars though. That's that's a bit of a stretch for me. As to why. But it's a really good looking truck. Look at that out, out there. That looks, that looks pretty good. Then interior, so I mean, outside, inside, that matches up really well. That's a really good matchup interior and exterior wise. So that is cool. Definitely a very cool truck and a lot more options than Chevy has for an F350 uh, versus the uh, uh, 3500 over at Chevy. A lot more options. So what would you go with? Honestly, it seems like uh, the Lariat might be your best choice in all things considered. Let me see here. So, Jet Not Without. So, switching all the way down here. Uh, $69,000. I think uh, we specced it out at what? About. Uh, see what packages we have added on here. Uh, don't have anything. So, I mean, adding on the FX4 package for that uh, locked differential uh, chrome package just to switch things up. And then the fifth wheel. Uh, you're looking at another thousand dollars basically maybe a few other things as well so I mean you're looking at probably about seventy three thousand dollars depending on what options you need uh, on the Lariat so that's definitely a good uh, starting point if you need something a little bit more luxurious so to speak honestly it seems like I don't remember what the options this had but I mean, you really can't beat the look of a two-tone there from the um, King Ranch. Honestly, yeah, I think Lariat is probably, honestly, if I had that much money, uh, sitting around ready to go for a truck, uh, I would say probably the Lariat would probably be what I would hop up to. But uh, I mean, if uh, once you're there, two-tone on a King Ranch, that, that does look pretty good. Major price difference there, but uh, that is a beautiful looking truck with the two-tone definitely like that so anyways guys that's gonna be it for today uh, if you're just doing work obviously the XL and the XLT are gonna be your best options but if you're looking for something to be able to haul around town or haul anywhere else and want to have a little bit more luxury uh, Lariat and King Ranch are probably your best options because I mean once you get up to platinum platinum and limited seems like that's a bit of a stretch uh, monetary wise just it seems like a little bit too much money to go out for something but anyways that's just my opinion let me know what kind of truck specs you do because uh, that those are some definitely some very cool trucks so anyways guys thanks so much for watching we'll see you guys here next time on the combustion guys bye bye